The topic I'm going to talk to you is called how to win impossibility and frustration. How to win things that is impossible. How do you win impossibility? How do you handle impossibility? When you are in a situation where you are so frustrated, there is no hope. When at your naked eyes, to your side, it is impossible. But our God, it is able to deliver you. God is going to deliver you from impossibility, from zero to hero, from frustration to happiness, to rejoice. The enemy has been paid to come and frustrate you. The enemy has been paid money to come and frustrate you, to put things impossible. Satan has been paid physical physical people really people has been pay, paid to come and frustrate you at your workplace they can gang together and start gossiping and start frustrating you until you give up until you resign and go they will block everything they will close every door for you so that you can be fr frustrated and you you don't know what to do you give up don't give up don't give up do not give up anything. Let them give up and go. Not you, child of God. Hallelujah. I'm going to read from the book of Ezra. The book of Ezra 4, verse 4 to 5. The book of Ezra 4, verse 4 to 5. The Bible says, And the people of, 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 and the, people of the land weakened. The, the hands of the people of Judea and the trouble them in the building. The people of the land, which book, the book of Ezra, Ezra, the book of Ezra, the, the book of Ezra is between Nehemiah and, uh, yeah, it's between Nehemiah and, and Job. After, after Nehemiah, Job, uh, after, Nehemiah, after Sek, Ezra, uh, Nehemiah, Nehemiah, then Nehemiah, uh, Job. So, the book of Ezra. Now, for E said R A. E said R A. Ezra. Don't know how you pronounce, but that is how I pronounce. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. That is the right one. For first. Verse 4, chapter 4, verse 4 to 5. Then the people of the land weakened the, the hands of the people of Judea and troubled them in building. So the, the people of the land, the people of the land weakened the people of Judea. They were frustrating them. They were weakening them. They make sure that they cannot, they were discouraged. They were frustrating. They were cursing them. They make sure that they had been frustrated up to their bones. They were not able even to do the work. And the, verse 5 says, And hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose on the days of Cyprus, king of Persia, and even unto the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Now here, they hired counselors. They hired evil people. They hired people to frustrate them, to, to discourage them, to make sure that the things they are doing is zero. You know, this is the little thing. Here is the people who have been paid, and you have no idea. They will come and start to frustrate you. They will come and make sure that you suffer, you give up. They will make everything impossible to you. They will make life to turn ups and down for you. Until you give up. Until you stop what you are doing. You go away. Now, the good news is this. If they hire the counselors, if they have hired the people who are coming against you, they are false witness. People who are against you, really affecting your life, making your life so hard, very difficult. They can use witchcraft. They can use every method. Now they feel like the time has come, they will hire people. They can check and see who is your closest friend. Whom do you share with? 
they will go and pay that person and the person will get all your information and give to them and then they will start frustrating you make your life so hard physical and spiritually they will start tormenting your mind until you you develop you until you develop depressed when you are de de when you you develop depressed and then you have a thought of ending your life you you want to kill yourself because you can't do it you can't do it it is it become very difficult for you so the best thing many people feel is to kill themselves uh, they they end up to, uh, suicide thought because of frustration and impossibility they can't handle it they can't take it by fire by thunder you would you would you would achieve it by fire by thunder you would you would make it even though it looks impossible even though it looks to frustration by fire by thunder you would achieve it you will succeed you might see a person being hired a person has been sent by the devil to come and frustrate to touch your heart to touch your heart they can they can be they can even use your own children they can use your husband they can use your wife they can use anybody they will start frustrating you your children will start frustrating you frustrating you until you find that you cannot have any say to your children yesterday i was in the store in the mall a five years old started frustrating her, uh, her mother seriously this child she was like according to me i saw the child has a spirit of 40 years to 50 years in her now this child was was talk, was telling the mother a child of five years old was telling the mother you are a stupid woman you thought you said this and this why are you not doing it this little child a baby girl and the mother got frustrated now I was we were going to the washroom and I was following them I hear what the child was talking now the child when when we were in the washroom the child was screaming there and cursing the mother speaking big 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 words to the mother the mother become really frustrated and then I asked the mother how old is this baby she told me five years old and why is this child is really talking to you frustrating you like this I don't know I said don't you see there's something wrong with this child the mother was looking at me the, the woman the, the, a canadian white woman she was frustrated until the end yeah daddy said this and now you say this like she was sent she was sent to 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 frustrate the mother now i asked the mother are you living together with the with the father with the father of this child the mother said no and then i said okay now are you are you uh, what is going on the mother told me the baby this girl it is her party day so i brought her here to buy her what she want but the child rejected everything the mother was buying to her a five years old child because the father told the child so bad stuff against the mother now the mother was so much frustrated the mother was crying a five years old made the mother cry frustrated because the mother cannot do anything to the child the father has portioned that child has told the 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 the, the, the mother the, fa the father has told the child against the mother now the child is so portionless even the mother feels like it's better that child to die the mother did everything to the child but the child was condemning mother say stupid mother yeah she was saying big big words and then the child came out from this the stroll the stroll the, the thing they pulled the baby how do you call it you call it stroll the baby come out from the stroll little child like this and then she, she she do like this you you are call yourself a woman a mother this is the child who's just in front of the washroom where other people were watching this child and then everybody was like this was just sympathize eyes of sympathy and then the mother tears was coming from the eyes now this message i just i was given this morning not long ago i didn't i didn't think of anything now it's when i remember what happened the child was hired by the father to destroy the mother the, the life of the mother now this child when he goes back to the father the child will be happy and laugh and make sure that 
the, the mothers know peace. Therefore, the keys I want to talk to you is symbol. Number one, the key is to humble yourself. Now, if you look at the book of Proverbs 3 verse 6, the book of Proverbs 3 verse Verse 6 it says, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Acknowledge him. Take it to him. Take it to God. Acknowledge him. There is nothing you can do. Don't 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 feel sorry to yourself. Don't be bitter. Don't 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 give up. You can give up by cursing yourself and reject yourself and feel it's enough, I'm done. This is a five years old who was frustrating her mother. What about if at the workplace, there are 10 people or five people, or you are both himself or herself, they have decided that you can never achieve anything there. Wherever you do anything, they reject. Wherever they, even if you do the best, they don't want, they don't see anything. They only see negative of yourself. After that, you, you feel people are resigning, people are giving up. Don't give up. Just in all of your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your path. God will make straight your path. He will make a crooked way straight. Mm -hmm. the, bo the book of, 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 of First Peter 5, verse 6 to 7, 2. Submit to yourself. Humble yourself. Submit yourself to God. Humble yourself. The first bit of 5, 6, 7 says, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that, that at the proper time he will exalt you. Cast all your, your anxieties on him because he cares for you. He will care for you. All of your worries, all of your doubt, all of your, your, your problem, cast it to God. Humble yourself before his wing. Humble yourself. Say, God, look at this. How did you take it? In the mighty name of Jesus. This situation, I can't take it. It is too much for me. It is impossible. But the Lord take it because you are a God of impossibility. To you, it is impossible, but not to man. I am reached a point of God where I have no return. But because I know you are a God of impossibility, therefore, God, I commit this situation into your hand. Oh, God, my Father, hear me. That's why David was saying, hear me, open your eyes. Open your ears to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, when you, you submit yourself to God, you are humble, and then you speak to God, he will hear you and take the situation and frustration from you. Another scripture, the Bible says, from Isaiah 41 verse 10, Isaiah 41 verse, verse 10, 3, do not fear. The key is to, to how to win impossibility and frustration. Three is do not fear. When situation is like that, do not fear. Isaiah, 40 verse, Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand, right hand. So the Lord says, do not worry. Do not fear. I will help you. I will strengthen you. No matter what you are going through, your children can turn against you. Your husband can turn against you. Everything will turn against you. But God says, do not fear. The God says, do not fear. Do not fear. He will help you. It's the Father. It's God who can help you. Right now, the situation you are in, there was a lady in South Africa. This lady, yesterday, they called me last night. They had a case in court, and this case has been in, in the course for the last eight months. The, she's a lawyer, and now she has a criminal court. This criminal court, once you have a criminal, you can't travel, you can't do anything. And then she has been tormented by this case until she feels like she's going to commit suicide. She was going to commit suicide. 
she's a lawyer and her job what what she has been accused before falsely and she has reached a point where they want to commit commit suicide here is the mother is a lawyer is a, the mother is a bank manager the father is a doctor herself is a lawyer and now they have reached the point they have tried to have the best lawyers they have tried everything now this case is a very serious case they don't know what to do so the the daughter the lawyer feel like committing suicide and then the mother found one of my videos and she went there and reset she called me last night when she called me she explained to me the problem i told her that is nothing i'm going to delete i'm going to remove that case i'm going to to ask jehovah to destroy that case and the and your daughter would be healed that demon of suicide thought would be finished would be destroyed in jesus name i prayed to to them the case was today in south africa not long ago when i got the testimony that the case was thrown away they are going to remove that criminal record and the, the lady now her mind is is clear her mind is super is clear she she, she feels better she feels healed she was depressed to death she was depressed to death and the case has been withdrawn they are going to remove the record the criminal record and all our papers everything will be returned back to her that is that is that is a victory mm -hmm. because this frustration can make you to feel like you have no hope I'm telling you that God is there. He will help you. God help that person. God help that woman. He helped the woman not to commit suicide and not to go to jail. Because the woman said, I cannot go to jail. I better die instead of going to jail. It, how, you know the jail in Africa, how it, it is. Horrible. So the woman said, instead of going to jail, let me die. It was false accusation. So the Lord help her. What could have happened to this woman if it is not the help of God? She, well, if she could be sentenced to jail, she could hang herself. She could kill herself. And that is a decision she had made. But God delivered her in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in, the, in the Exodus 14.14, 14, the Bible says, The Lord will fight for you. You will have only to be silent. You will only to be to silence. Silence yourself. Just let God do his way. He will help you. He will deliver you. He will fight for you. He will be fight for you. Instead of worrying yourself, God will fight for you. Our God is able to fight for you. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28 verse 20. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the Lord will cause on, the Lord will, will, will the Lord the Lord will send on a curses and a frustration and frustration in all that you do, you undertake to do until you destroy and perish quickly to account of the evil of the deed because you have forsaken me. Now, the Lord himself is going to send a conviction and frustrated to every enemy that is frustrating you, that is making you to suffer. God is going to turn everything against your enemy by fire by thunder in the mighty name of jesus as as long as you humble yourself you repent you ask god to forgive you things will be at about turn will turn against the enemy you know the enemy were hired to frustrate you to come against you to say false accusation against you now god will take it and give it to the enemy and and the end and god will frustrate them God would bring a big conviction and they would be frustrated and even become mad in Jesus' name. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, my God. I want to thank God. Sister, you will, you will, you will be delivered. Your daughter, your family, the whole family will be delivered. All this frustration, impossibility, rejection, it is going to be an end. As this year is going to end, all your problem will be end. As we are celebrating Hosanna celebration, you will join us to do Hosanna celebration. This, mo this evening, I'm going to launch Hosanna celebration in our prayer meeting. We will be celebrating Hosanna. We, you, as, you are, as you are going through this impossibility, frustration, your time is coming to celebrate everything is going to be destroyed 
in the name of Jesus Christ, you will celebrate. You will be happy again in Jesus' name. In the book of Job, Job 5.12, the Bible says, Frustrations, the divisor of the craft, so that their hands achieve no success. The Lord will frustrate the Lord will frustrate the device of the, uh, the craft. The Lord will frustrate the evil, the, the, the demons that is hiring to frustrate you. The Lord will frustrate your accusers. The Lord will frustrate every enemy that is frustrating you. They will not succeed. They will not succeed, people of God. They will not succeed. The Bible says God will frustrate them. The scripture is from the Job 5 verse 12. Job 5 verse 12. J-O-B. Job 5 verse 12. The Bible says, Frustrate the divisor of craft so that their hands achieve no success. Every hand of the enemy that is frustrating you will not succeed. They will not succeed. They will not achieve, achieve success. They will be no achieving success in Jesus' name. Those people are frustrating you. They are not going to succeed. They are not going to achieve in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast them, I bind them, I destroy them, I command them to be destroyed according to the scripture in Jesus' name. In the, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm, we are going to look at another scripture from the book of Psalms 3 verse 10. The book of Psalms 33 verse 10. The Bible says, Bring the counselors of the nation to naught. He frustrate the plans of the people. If he brings the counselors of the nations to nothing, any counselors, any evil counselors, you know, the Bible said in the book of Ezra, they will hire evil counselors, counselors who will come to frustrate you to make your work be, be reduced to nothing. But God will bring them to nothing. God will frustrate them. Those counselors of the nation, those counselors, those evil counselors, those satanic counselors, wicked counselors, they will be hired. They will come whether spiritually or physical to torment you, to frustrate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will frustrate them. They will be nothing according to God. They will be nothing. They will come, but they will be nothing. They will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 44, verse 25. The book of Isaiah 44, verse 25. The Bible says, Frustrate the signs of liars and make, make fools of diviner who turn wise men back and make their knowledge foolish. The Lord will turn their, their knowledge foolish. The Lord will frustrate their signs because they are liars. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will frustrate them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will frustrate their signs of liars. Their every signs of liars. Every lies they are saying against you. The Lord will frustrate them. The Lord will frustrate their lies. The Lord will frustrate them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will be frustrated. The, and God will make them back their knowledge foolish. Their knowledge will look foolishness in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are being frustrated, you feel like you have been frustrated to death. You have no hope. The Lord is going to have frustrated your frustrator to the nothing. They will be frustrated, not you. Everything will turn back to back to the owner, back to the sender. And they will be frustrated and they cannot have the even to breathe in Jesus' name. Yes. We will conclude with the book of First Beda, 5, verse 5 to 14. You, this is the scripture you need to memorize. You need to memorize this scripture. When you are frustrated, when you have no hope, you don't know what to do, the, the key is to frustrate. First Beda, 5, verse 5 to 14. 5, 5 Beda, First Beda, First Beda, 5, 4, to 14 that is the scripture you would be you would be memorized after you can repeat that scripture as much as you can take it all before God and place it in his mind hands likewise you young people submit yourself to the elders yes of all you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility for God resist the proud God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. 
Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in his due time. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because you are your adversary. The devil walks about like a lion to seeking whom he may devour. Resist him and he will go. That is a scripture. The Lord hates the proud. Pride is an, an enemy of God. Pride people that are the ones who can go and hire evil counselors to come and destroy you. Pride people are the ones who hire people to come and destroy you. Never, never worry about them. The Lord will deal with them. The Lord will destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. My God, I want to thank you. My God, I want to praise your name in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray every battle waged against you at the gate of your breakthrough, every battle, every battle which I war against you, every every battle that you are won, let Almighty God set them fire. Let Almighty God set them fire. Let them be destroyed by fire. Let them be destroyed by, by thunder. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let them catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. You are big breakthrough. I command I command them. Arise, snatch, let it be snatched. Let it be snatched in the mighty name of Jesus. You are big through, you are big breakthrough. You are big breakthrough. Let it arise and snatch you from the fire of the stagnation. That you are big, big miracles, big, big, big breakthrough that has been in stagnation, that has been stagnated, that has been buried. Let it be snatched, let it be grabbed from the hands of the enemy and bring it to you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against the power of inherited frustration. Every power of inherited frustration. This inherited frustration can be in your bloodline. Everybody in your, your family, they get frustrated and if they give up, they end up committing suicide. You can count your family how many people are ending their life suicide. How many people are being depressed in that family because of inherited frustration and rejection. When these enemies hiring and coming to your life, many people, they don't live. They feel like, in my country, I witness a woman. This woman set herself fire. She went and, and, and bought uh, paraffin, kerosene. He boiled herself like this. He set herself fire. And the woman burned to ashes. He, he set herself because of frustration and rejection. The woman, another woman, this is Kenya in Africa. She set herself fire and she was in the house. So the house burned to ashes and she set herself fire. You see frustration and rejection. Another woman, she had three children and then the husband went to work and then somebody told the woman your husband is moving with another woman she your husband is is, have, is, have, is having another woman now that woman started frustrated started feeling bad started feeling bad she can't take it she i'm telling you this woman went and killed three children and and killed herself because of frustration and rejection I was in the hospital when I, I got very bad accident before I, I came to discover this, this deliverance. I was in the, in the ward in the hospital, Nairobi hospital, Nairobi woman. Then um, a woman was admitted there who had taken suicide because a fiancé has left her. When a boyfriend left her, the woman could not take it. She died next to my bed where I was. I was. I didn't know this deliverance. I didn't know anything about this. If I knew what I know now, I could have helped so many people. I could have, even I could have helped her. But because I was also battling with my life, I didn't know what to do. I'm telling you, go and share these videos to your friends. Please, if you need to help people, share this video to your friends. Give them my, my phone number. My phone number is 905 72 905-792-3798. Give your friends. Share this, please. Many people, they are killing themselves. They don't know what to do. I have power and authority God has given 
to destroy and stop the demon of, of suicide suicide thought i am i have authority to remove every witchcraft that has been programmed in you jesus has given me power and authority to do that don't give in to frustration and, and rejection don't give in to uh, impossibility rejection and frustration no matter what you are going through the bible says god will help you he will help you he's helpful to deliver you he's helpful to help you in the mighty name of jesus yes he is he's helpful to help you thank you for all much god bless you this is your host prophetess dr christine Sigi, saying bye bye to you god bless you so much see you tomorrow 9 p.m will be on 9 p.m this year don't let go with your what you are with your frustration don't let frustration to call to next year let your frustration die as this year is ending let your frustration and rejection end as this year is what is ending restoration is going to take over you will be renewed you will be reset you will be renewed you will be renewed everything that you have gone through shall die in the mighty name of jesus Today we don't have, we are, we, I'm going to have a, a prayer in a different place, so we won't have a periscope, but if I come, I, I'm not sure, but I'm telling you, I might come midnight, but I'm going to tell you that God is able, God is able, don't give up, don't give up, share please, I know you have friends, share these videos to your, your, your friends in Facebook, Twitter, and God will help you, give my people give your, your friends your people print it and give them because people are going to do some problem they, they don't know what to do god will help you thank you very much god bless you go to our website www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca and god bless you have a wonderful a wonderful time people of god i love you so much and there's nothing i can do about it I love you and receive the blessings of God in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.